Hello and welcome back to Exploring with Ash and Jake. Today we're going to be talking about music's craziest conspiracy theories. Are Elvis, Tupac, and Jim Morrison still alive? Let's find out. I wouldn't bet on it, but for entertainment purposes only, this is a good way to approach the following conspiracy theories. It is thought that when Jay-Z and Beyonce flip the Rockefeller sign, everybody thinks that this means they're paying respect to the Illuminati, which they are a part of. The conspiracy theory around this one is that Paul McCartney died and was replaced by an imposter. After Paul McCartney was injured in a 1967 car accident, conspiracy theorists summarized that the Beatle was actually dead and replaced by an imposter. Several things were pointed out, such as ske sketchy clues left in the band's artwork, like playing Revolution 9 backwards and hearing the words, turn me on, dead man. Now, I can actually verify that it does say that because I actually played my record backwards and it freaked me out. All we can say is that the true Paul replacement did a great job on Hey Jude, if this is the case. The government killed John Lennon. Like most world-stopping assassinations, John Lennon's death in 1980 at the hands of Mark David Chapman came with its share of conspiracy theories and skeptics also felt that the CIA could have orchestrated his death due to his political activism. So for those of you who don't know, uh, John Lennon was um, more or less a human rights activist and the government didn't like that. So people theorized that when he died that the CIA orchestrated his death. Now, I didn't live during that time, but reading and hearing everything that I've heard today, I believe that the CIA had an involvement in John Lennon's death. I do believe that that's very plausible, but because there are a lot of government cover-ups, we will never truly know. Lord isn't really a teenager. After Lord quickly ascended to stardom, some summarized that there was absolutely no way a teenager could be such a wise old soul. In South Park Cola, rumors spread that she was actually a 45 geologist named Randy Marsh. In reality, Lord was most definitely born in 1966. I don't know, I've never heard of this musician, so let me know what you all think in the comments. Is she a teenage teenager or is she really an adult pretending to be a teenager? Tom DeLong thinks the government is covering up aliens and tapping his phone. Back in 1999, a song called Aliens Exist appeared on Blink-182's album Anima of the State in 2015. Tom DeLonge, since leaving the band, gave an interview to the paper in which he talked about extensively researching government alien cover-ups to the point of experiencing lost time near Area 51 and his phone being tapped. I think it's very plausible that if you're researching things that the government doesn't want you to know about, even though with the Transparency and um, Right to Know Act or whatever that they put into effect about, I think, three years ago. Um, the government has to be transparent with the information that they have and documents that weren't able to be accessed or disclosed to us previously, like the fact that we now know that the government is breeding aliens with the human species and that aliens are real, which we all knew all along, um, ever since the Roswell incident. Um, they've come forward to admit, yeah, you're all not crazy. Aliens do exist. And then that they do have them in a facility and they are monitoring their comings and goings in spaceships. So yeah, do I believe that the government lies about a lot of stuff and covers a lot of stuff up? Yes, because, and part of it is, I think that if we knew the truth about everything that the government knows, our minds would probably explode with the amount of information that is out there that the government has the privilege of knowing that we don't know. Even with the Transparency and the Right to Know Act, we don't still know everything that the government knows. They are still hiding information. And yes, they do tap people's phones. How do you think that they've caught uh, people of the mafia and um, other people, they've tapped their phones and set up sting operations? Do I think it's possible that the government has somebody on the other end of the line, like listening as we record YouTube videos and talk on the phone? Absolutely. Absolutely. My friend had somebody in a black suit show up at his house two weeks ago because he was making a video about Donald Trump. Personally, I'm not a Trump fan, but I will leave politics out of this video. Um, so yes, do I think that they listen? Absolutely. 100%. I don't think that that's a theory, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Courtney Love had Kurt Cobain killed.
Since Kurt Cobain's death in 1994, conspiracy theorists have been saying the suicide was actually orchestrated by none other than Courtney Love. Enough people believe that the very suspect rumors for a skeptic document that was soaked in bleach came to be in light in 2015, though Love responded with a cease and desist letter to all the threats planning on showing the film. Now, as an outsider, my take is that I believe she 100% orchestrated his death and even did it herself, no help at all. And I say this because he was planning on divorcing her because he was not happy in their relationship and how things were going. So I think in order to prevent him from divorcing her so she could end up with the minority of his assets, that she killed him. Point blank, she killed him. Let me know what you think. Just like Elvis is alive, there are some that maintain Tupac Shakir is very much still alive. Having faked his own death and found refuge abroad, while the details of Tupac's death and assailants may never be known, the still alive argument seems to be quite unlikely in 2014, even though the CIA's official Twitter account even confirmed they had no idea where Tupac actually was. Now, I've read some crazy theories, even a pilot that came forward and said he smuggled Tupac onto a two-seater plane and dropped him off in Cuba. And there are many sightings of people saying that Tupac is alive, they've seen him in Cuba, they've seen him at the NBA um, playoffs for basketball games, they've seen him in the background um, music videos, um, even as of recently as of last year. So I, I'm kind of going to leave this one open-ended. I personally um, was somewhere like two years ago and I swore that I saw someone that looked exactly like Tupac. I was at a football game and I swear in the audience there was a man that head to toe looked like Tupac. So do I think Tupac's alive? Yeah. Do I think he never really died? Yeah. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's debate it. Beyonce pretended to be pregnant. Beyonce announced her pregnancy at the 2011 VMA Awards and gave birth to Blue Ivy on January 7th the next year, but some suggested Bay was wearing a prosthetic baby bump while a surrogate mother carried the baby, even pointing out that her pregnant belly looked like it was deflated in one photo, and while dancing in heels at New York's Roslyn Ballroom while five months pregnant might not be for every pregnant woman, any sane person should just chalk it up to... Bay doing Bay. Now, I did see the photo um, that they're talking about, and it did look like she maybe had a pillow or something stuffed up inside her. I am definitely going to say, yeah, I think she faked her own pregnancy. Maybe she didn't want to have a baby, and maybe she did hire a surrogate. That is very possible. A lot of people will hire uh, surrogates if they're having issues getting pregnant, but she is famous enough that Apparently, she could get away with faking her own pregnancy if this is the case. Let me know what you all think below. Elliot Smith was murdered. In 2003, Elliot Smith died of a stab wound to the heart and the tragic incident was ruled a suicide. Some felt he could have been killed by his girlfriend, Jennifer Chiba, given the especially grisly suicide method, the lack of hesitation wounds, and Smith's alleged rebound from drugs. Still, his death remains listed as a suicide. Um... I'm not really sure on this one, so let me know what you all think in the comments below. Klaatu was actually the Beatles. How could being a 70s rock band and getting compared to the Beatles ever be a bad thing? When you sound so much like them, people suspected you're just the Fab Four recording under a Pisidium. This is just what happened when the Canadian band Klaatu dropped its 1976 debut at 347 Eastern Time. But in reality, there was absolutely no connection between the two. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are Klaatu and the Beatles actually the same band recording under two different band record labels? Or is this just another crazy conspiracy theory? Jimi Hendrix was actually murdered. Legendary guitarist Jimi Hendrix died at the age of 27 in 1970 after aspirating on his own vomit and dying of asphyxia while intoxicated with barbiturates. But James Tappy Wright, a former road manager who worked for Hendrix manager Mike Jeffrey, claimed in 2009 book 
that Jeffrey had taken out a $2 million life insurance policy on the star and ultimately had him killed by a gang who forced wine and painkillers down his throat. I believe that anything is possible in this day and age. There are a lot of conspiracy theories and um, dark um, things surrounding the music industry. Um, it's weird is when Michael Jackson died, the, the uh, record sales was phenomenal. It went through the roof when he died, but he never made that much money in his lifetime while alive. But the minute he died, the records skyrocketed. So yeah, I do think there is some theory to that, that if you're not um, making enough money, they have you basically killed because your record label's worth more when you're dead than when you're alive. So the people who work for the music industry, they actually sign a contract that you're taking out X amount of money on your name. So your name is a contract. And if you don't pay back that money or make back that money, yeah, those people in the music business can have you killed. It's a shady job working in the music industry. And I absolutely 100% believe that Jimi Hendrix was actually murdered. Whether that can be proved or not is a whole nother story. Andrew W.K. and Dave Grohl are the same person. Have you ever seen Andrew W.K. and Dave Grohl in the same room together? Years back, some summarized the party-rocking persona of Andrew Wyke's cure was just Dave's alter ego, but this one doesn't hold much weight outside the fact that the dudes do kind of look alike. Now, as I'm doing this video, I am looking at a picture of them, and I'm just going to say, honestly... I don't really feel that they look too much alike because one has a more rounder face than the other and one also has significantly longer hair than the other. One looks younger while the other looks older. So um, do I think that this one's a theory? Absolutely, especially if you're looking at their genetic makeup, they do not look anything alike. But that's just my opinion. Let's hash it out in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank everyone for watching and supporting our channel. I hope you're having an awesome fall. Rock on, stay weird, keep exploring. Peace out and good vibes, y'all.